Hey guys, Daver here. Just wanted to give you an update on what I printed this week. Um, I showed a picture of a few goodies. Um, mostly just actually revisions of pieces I already had that work. So, kind of cool. I want to make sure everything's kind of, the tolerance are there. So, you know, when I do open this up to the groups, um, there's not much they have to do to change. And basically it's tolerances where the holes meet. In this one it's the cable. So the biggest thing I wanted to change, and I grab a cable here, is fits in a hole. Can't ask for much more, right? There you go. I dropped the piece. I'm going to pick it up. <laughs> there we go. All right. Let's see. Um, so I got some comparisons here. So this was um, what was printed last night and versus the original. So this was the part of the head that tilts left and right. And what I found out is some of the weaknesses with this was where I put the holes. One, two, three, four. Um, I already had this one crack when I tried to tighten it originally. Now this took the original load of it just fine, not an issue there, um, but I felt like it was a catalyst of failure. Um, so I went ahead and redesigned it to one be longer and instead of four, I went with two spreading out the load to the furthest points. Um, you can see I already mounted the wheel here and the bearing in the inside because it's, it's captured between these two. So it's pretty good there. Um, the pocket here for the servo is correctly sized as well as the hole for the wire, you kind of see. Um, and then we have our bearings in here too as well. So um, not quite finished with that part yet. I do have some parts coming in. Um, I live in Virginia and we have a blizzard coming tonight. So perfect time to do some CAD, build a BB-8, print out some stuff, talk about cool stuff. Anyway. <laughs> um, moving on. So that's really much the revision on that. Oh, one less, one other thing I left out. I made this half inch stop any deflection here. I didn't notice any, but when I had the rod on top and I was testing the strength of the servo, I just had an indication that this part would just need to be a little stronger. And I also flared these a little bit more, so you got more strength here, more beef. Um, so pretty happy with this piece. Um, what the heck, let's throw a servo in there and show you how nice it fits. So servo just fits straight in, just like that. Pops a bearing out, which is fine. And as you can see, that fits well there. Now the plan is I have a hub and a gear from Servo City. I have to broach these for hex, so that way I can put that on there. I just gotta send it to a buddy. He does it for me. Um, and then this just goes like that. Pretty straightforward. We've got a shaft collar on the top, shaft collar on the bottom. Life is good, locks it in place. And then we'll play with the uh, the length of that once um, the DMM, BMM, I think that's right, DMM, BM, I don't know who makes these acronyms. Anyway, um, so pretty cool piece. We'll just take this back out again, put it there. So really happy with the revision. Can't wait to get everything locked in. Waiting on two more deliveries. Snow is coming. I'll probably be here Wednesday. <laughs> um, snow's here. So let's put those two aside. Uh, the other revision was to these pieces here, and this you know tits, tilts the head forward and back on this. So the biggest thing I found out with this is you know I got a little bit of deflection on there. Um, so I really want to just put some gussets in that, and that's what we did here. Is I went ahead and put gusseting, pillow blocking it out in there. Um, I still had to recess the bearings so that way um, the spacings were correct. I went ahead and mounted the, what am I calling these, the cable brackets. I have a front one and a side one um, and they have, they have been mounted and this one here actually follows the contour of the piece. What I found out that actually adds to some of the uh, locking, uh, if it ever were to come under greater load than it should be, it would lock into the curve. Um, thought about doing that here with this one um, in a revision. So pretty happy the way this printed out. Weight-wise, I don't believe I added much. Um, so with that in mind, 
that's what um, had printed out. Now I did get one goodie in, and that was the rat kit from Servo City. Now nowhere online can I find a cool review on this thing. Nowhere. Well, this thing's badass. What I mean is, for a rack and pinion to be this compact, it has a ton of strength in it. I mean, let's just show it a little bit off. So, pretty wild. Now, the amount of distance this thing has to travel and the location I have is like an inch and a half up, an inch and a half down, plus or minus a little bit at that point. Um, so very little, but the cool part is, is everything's variable with these 785 servos, which is kind of cool. So you can go really, really slow, or you can get the faster movements. Um, and how strong are they? I mean, I can hold this down, and it still pushes me up. So pretty darn cool, and it can be variable with all that tension. Um, so I doubt it's going to be under that much load. So I'm looking forward to testing this out. I'm printing out the mount for this which will go on the chassis um, so I can test that. At least I got have fun with that this weekend and see how that works out um, until I get my two other deliveries. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Pretty cool thing. I'm looking forward to seeing how this works um, within the tilt steer. Um, I got high hopes. I mean, this thing is well put together. I'm definitely going to test it um, greater than its limits. Um, I'm going to try to break it. But gonna test it. Alright. Alright guys, this has been a long video, so I just wanted to go over a few things. Um, I'm going to let this finish printing, and for some reason, um, it's only a two hour print, so I might get it done tonight, and I'll throw up another video just to see how, um, see if it works, because if it's really cool, I want to share it. <laughs> Alright guys, happy building.